To establish legal malpractice, a plaintiff has to show the attorney violated the appropriate standard of care. In Ofe v. Gordon, the defendant argued that a jury of non-lawyers couldn't understand the standard of care unless it was explained to them by an expert. Frida Olfe hired attorney Robert Gordon to handle the sale of her house and land to Elmer Demon. Demon planned to build an office building on the site. He arranged to pay Olfe in installments. Olfe told Gordon that she wanted a first mortgage on the property, not subordinate to any other liens. When Olfe signed an offer to purchase prepared by Demon's attorney, she asked Gordon and his law partner whether the document was a second mortgage. Gordon didn't respond, but his partner said Olfe's mortgage was second only to the cost of construction. Olfe thought that meant that she had a second mortgage on the future office building, but held the primary lien on the land and house. Olfe didn't read the document because she didn't think she'd understand it, which was why she'd hired Gordon. Demon defaulted. When the bank holding the actual first mortgage on the property foreclosed, Olfe learned she held a second mortgage. Olfe sued Gordon for malpractice, alleging he'd negligently failed to obtain the first mortgage she'd demanded. At trial, after the close of Olfe's case, Gordon moved to dismiss her claim, arguing that Olfe hadn't submitted expert testimony establishing the requisite standard of care and couldn't establish a prima facie case against him. The trial court granted the motion. Olfe appealed to the Wisconsin Supreme Court.